Virgo. Welcome and welcome back to Monocopes Tarot. I am Amira. Thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate your presence, energy, and high vibration. Please don't forget to show me that you appreciate me for hit by hitting that like button. Okay, and subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed. You are missing out. <laughs> Anything that you guys are wanting to know, okay, will be in the description box, including how to reach out to me for a personal reading if you so choose. I would love to work with you guys, okay? Reach out to me. We'll get something set up. Virgo, this is going to be a weekly reading for you. I'm going to pull an oracle here first just to tap in and see what the overall energy is looking like, and then we'll get into the tarot. I've already shuffled the deck, so it's ready to go. Let's just get your oracle. So, let's see. For Virgo, please. What's the most relevant oracle here for Virgo? Thank you. All right, what do we have? Ooh, I love this card. Wings of light becoming something new, number 42, which is a six. I love the six because you are running fast as hell from that five energy, okay? <laughs> it's time to transform here, Virgo. It's time to, I feel like a lot of you need to change your mindset here, okay? A lot of times when we get in that five energy, um, which brings chaos, which brings change, which like turns our worlds upside down, right? Um, and it makes us learn things, uh, uh, new things about ourselves, about the people around us, and just see things differently. Sometimes it can be hard to transition into that six energy where we move forward and actually level up, okay? That six energy, which is your energy, all right? Beautiful. This is leveling up. It's introspection. It is, um, you know, feeding into yourself and moving towards a, a, a calmer place where you can continue to level up, where you can continue to grow, continue to be the divine being that you guys are meant to be. Um, it's just a matter of shifting your perspective, I feel here. Okay. I love this card. I'm going to show you guys again. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, let's see what your tarot has to say in the overall energy. Seven of Swords, yeah. Yeah. So the Seven of Swords, we all know it as the lying, cheating, stealing, and deceitful energy, but it means so much more than that, okay? This is the energy of someone who is focused on themselves. It's not about other people. When you're in the Seven of Swords energy, once again, um, we move from the Six of Swords where we're tra we've transitioned into a new place and we're in the midst of, of leaving the trauma, leaving the difficulty, leaving the jealousy um, of other people and the fight of other people behind and moving forward with the truth, what we know to be true, moving forward um, with uh, the focus being on ourselves and not necessarily relaying everything to everybody. This is the lone wolf energy, okay? This is the energy of someone who is a planner, okay? You know, the, the tricky thing though here with the seven of swords, Virgo, is not moving into that eight of swords energy where you become stagnant and you um, have not quite made a decision. So let's see what's contributing to this. This can also be representative of trust issues, okay? Three of Swords in the reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Look at all these swords, baby. <laughs> all these swords, all this air energy. You're very much in your head this week, you guys, okay? Very much in your head. I feel like you guys are trying to figure out the right things to say, the right moves to make, but I do feel like there's a big change, all right? The Knight of Swords energy is, um, could be communication, could be a, an, an aha moment of some sort, but it really is something that comes in and causes a significant lifestyle change, all right? And we definitely see it here with your oracle. We see it here with the seven of swords and we see it with the knight of swords, of course. This could be you guys being in a planning stage and moving forward with a certain situation. Now, again, 
Okay. We move into that six energy after the five. All right. And we see it here with the three of swords. It's showing up in the reversal. So this could be you guys running from some sort of difficulty. Um, it could also be you avoiding fully healing. Okay. But we're going to clarify and see further. Your advice. Nine of swords in the reverse. Two of cups in the reverse. And the star in the reverse. So at the very center of everything here, Virgo, two of cups in the reverse. All right. This could be a breakup. It's a disagreement. It's an argument. It's right underneath that seven of swords. And so uh, uh, for me, <laughs> okay, this is definitely someone who is um, trying to move forward after some sort of disagreement, argument, breakup, separation. This is two people who don't see eye to eyes, two people that are not compatible, two people, two energies. Take it as it resonates. Doesn't have to be about a relationship all the time. OK, but I do feel like there is this sense of avoidance while it's cool to move into a new level. There are things beneath the surface that we often have to deal with. Avoiding it is not going to help you to grow and mature and, you know, be in that solid energy of yours. OK, nine of swords in the reversal here. Um, I, 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 I'm seeing this as extreme. OK, I. I I, it feels like extreme agony. All right. It does. Okay. And, and especially with the star card in the reversal here, this is someone who is, it's like being in a place of, of this isn't what I asked for. How did I get here? You know, there, there is no hope here. There, there is no, um, fixing this whatever this situation is. This is in your advice. So this is sort of the energy that you guys are needing to be in. Let's look at the outcome. Four of Wands. The Sun. The Justice card. And the Three of Wands. Virgo. What is this? This looks like a marriage. Okay. It really does. It really does. You know, at its core, there's some kind of um, celebration that you are deserving of. Okay, there is that leveling up energy that you're looking for. <laughs> Literally, this person is looking for it in this card. Okay, she's got her hand up like, where is my stuff at? Okay, it's right here. It's right here. Once you clear out that gunk in your head, because I feel like a lot of you are in your head here. Like I said, with this nine of swords in the reverse, it's, in, it's extreme, 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 extreme. Trust issues, fear. Let's see. Let's clarify through. Interesting. Four of Wands energy is also freedom. This definitely looks like a marriage, though, for some of you. As it pertains to a relationship, obviously. Four of Wands next to that Sun card. This, that, that, that is, those are two cards of freedom, two cards of success. And, and I feel like, especially as it relates to this Nine of Swords in the reverse, it's um, someone who is gaining clarity finally, all right, which you've been trying to do from the beginning with that seven of swords energy. But I feel like someone is, is feeling as though they need to do it on their own or something like that. Clarify the knight of swords, please. Priestess, Pisces energy.
There's definitely some hidden energy here or hidden agenda for sure. All right. I feel like someone is trying to figure it out. Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is wanting to give up on something because either someone is, is, is refusing to make a decision or has fumbled. <laughs> okay. Feeling like someone has fumbled or, or uh, I feel like someone is, is feeling played or like, 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 um, like an individual is playing with them or, or, you know, uh, not getting the promotions that you're wanting at work or something to that effect. Again, take it as it resonates. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, that Three of Swords coming up again, the reverse. All right, but instead of dealing with it, I feel like it's just like um, giving up on something. Uh, it goes both ways for me, though. You know, a a as much as someone is dropping out, if you will, it, it has more to do with a lack of trust than anything. All right, and just like not wanting to deal with something instead wanting to run away. All right, what's this two of cups in the reverse? Your advice is literally telling you to do something on your own. I think it's going to be difficult for a lot of you though. I feel like I, f I feel like overall Virgo, you need time here. Okay. You need time to think something through. What's the two of cups, please, in the reverse? Thank you. Ten of wands in the reverse, justice in the reverse, and the five of cups in the reverse. You guys are needing time here, like I said, to think something through. Um, five of cups in the reversal energy is of someone who, and we have the two of cups in the reverse again, okay, just being further clarified. It's, this is someone who is um, finally realizing an opportunity, I, but I feel like it's necessary to um, put something on pause, I feel, in order for someone to realize. We got two tens showing up here in the reversal. That's an indication, again, of someone who is not quite ready to take some sort of action. Okay. Even the two of pentacles in the reverse says someone is not ready. <clears throat> I think there's a need for patience here with another individual. Show me the sun card, please, and the outcome. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. That's beautiful. This is beginning to realize that you are supported, beginning to realize that you have some sort of... Um, help, assistance, and resource in your energy. Yeah, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is an emotional change, offer, or opportunity. Again, could be a proposal for a lot of you here, but I do feel like there's a need to kind of take a time out, all right? Because someone, someone is feeling like they're not ready for something here, okay? Take it as it resonates with your particular situation, please, and thank you. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time for the next one.